We're getting there. Things are happening. I don't want an egg. I'd rather buy a, um... You know, let's buy this for now, but I'd rather buy an apple for one of these. I think that could be cool. But not convinced this is going to be a win. Like, running a team with such little attack, I can only win against a similar team. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. It was almost close to... Uh, apple, double bulldog. I can still save two gold, I just hope I don't lose. I'm not going to stack the thing on the bulldog though, because I do not care about it. Let's send it like this though, I just need to not get unlucky. As a chemist, I highly recommend not treating everything as edible. But how will you know if it's edible or not before you've tried it? There we go, I draw, we get our HP back. Okay, uh, I can level the magpie, very happy to see that. Guinea fowl is also tempting. I mean, it's a definite take, I'm just wondering if I like... <laughs> I don't know, I guess I just like roll for apples for it or something. I don't need the achievements, I don't know whether I go for any of the early ones. Like, there's still so much like late game stuff I need. I think I might just buy both of these for this turn, like... This is just fine, even if I don't get to save any gold. Throw that further back, let these like crunch. Maybe should have thrown this to the front, because if the frontline thing has like, no attack, then it might be another near guaranteed trigger for it. The easiest way to check whether it's edible is to eat it, exactly my thinking. Let's combine, I, I, I don't want to keep this thing on my team, but like I do want to, um, I don't know, save money. And yeah, I'm buying an apple, I'm going to do this and then end my turn. So I'm leaving this at the front because the frontline thing will have one less attack. So I'm hoping we can get some sort of value out of that. Just don't get one shot and then you'll do a little better than last time. And yeah. <laughs> it did a little bit better, but I don't think it was because of the reduction in attack. And it was a win. Amazing stuff. Okay, flying fish, no. Better fish, maybe? Like, I don't know what achievements I'm going for, but that's a maybe. I think a flea could be interesting, but I will take this for now because it is... It is a maybe, and it's not bad. Uh, don't really care about any of these. And I actually, I've already had the muskox. I can't even remember the last time I took that. Don't care about this. I do want to buy these, but I'd rather have a better thing on my team when I do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So I am hoping this hits the guinea fowl more than that, but if it hits this a few times in a row, then you know maybe I lock in on both for a while. Don't think I need to worry about where things are too much. Uh, probably should have put this on that though, because definitely for the bulldog it's really bad. Okay, thankfully it didn't cost me anything. For something to be edible, it's about whether you can eat it and not survive it. Really? I feel like it should, I don't know, be deeper than that. <laughs> like it shouldn't be edible just because you can survive eating it. Uh, roll once at least, and hey. I don't know whether I go for the level 3 magpie or not. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I, I don't think I need that. Let's just keep this going. I trust. Next turn we can... Well, we're gonna find a tier 5, but I also need to find a tier 4. I'm saying you don't need to survive it. I, I would say I see, but I definitely do not. Uh, Beluga Whale. I mean, it works in some builds. I don't know though, like it's definitely better than my Bulldog, but I, I need to find a tier 4 for like the rest of these. Again, does the Beluga Whale count as a faint pet? Even if it doesn't, I can maybe combo it with the Bet Fish or something, but... I might just leave that. I may take the Egyptian Vulture though, because I think I do need that. I don't. <laughs> hmm. What can I do? I think Falcon Secretary Bird, I may go for that synergy. I think that could be kind of cool, so I'm going to roll this a bit. I do not think I go for another one of these. No, okay. Continue rolling. Just buy bananas for now, or freeze them, because I still do need tier 4. Secretary bird, okay, yeah, we go for that then. So I'll take this, I can leave that at the back, I think, I don't think it really matters. And you're not going anywhere for a long time, so I'll put that on there. Is this the weekly pack? This is the golden pack. Damn, just <laughs> destroyed my frontliner there. Might still be okay, but... We are. It's even a win. We take it. Alright, I don't think I'm going for the Betfish upgrade. I think I just, like, leave that behind. It's probably, like, the first thing I sell, honestly. 
Uh, I'm liking this though. Okay. So I have a lot of gold ready for next turn. And then I just need to like roll for good tier fives, really. Oh, I didn't want that to be my at my front. Yeah, we're fine, but I didn't like the shuffles. Okay, so emu. I think I might need that. So I do not. God, I just can't remember the things I need. Uh, yeah. Again, still not going for that. Blurring Doctopus, maybe. I do still need that in the catfish. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna buy this. I'm going to roll, but I may just like sell it again. And I found another one already, so I will not. <laughs> I am stacking stuff on top of this. I'm not going to freeze, um Yeah, you know what? Let's go for both. Let's go for both. Don't need a grizzly. Don't care about this. Uh that I like, but I'm probably putting on here. And there we go. This is the start of something nice. I hope. Oh, and see you later, Buzzkill. Got to get ready to teach college students better chemistry for the new guys. Just teach them what you learned here. I'm sure they'll find it very helpful. And hey, a loss. Almost happy about it because it stores out the game and it means I might be able to get my blurring octopus scaling going better. I was really hoping for a catfish there, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, I think I will do this though. Like, I could do this and I do kind of want to go for that, but I, I'd really like to go for a catfish blurring octopus game. So, yeah, let's. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm throwing this on here so then I can buy this one next turn and it'll be um, a level 3 thing. And then I can buy waffles, get loads of value. And then I'm probably getting rid of the guinea fowl when I need to make room for the, um, the catfish. Maybe the magpie, though. Like, I haven't really been using that properly. Do you want to keep your job? Uh, well, you should have thought of that before you started hanging around with us. Ouch. Well, I would have taken a draw there. Okay, so... I could keep it frozen until I find the catfish, and I'm almost tempted. I'll maybe roll, like, once or twice. Nah, alright. Okay, let's buy tomato. Catfish, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm getting rid of magpie. Like, I think scaling the guinea fowl makes some sense compared to these other things. So, goodbye magpie. I will buy and sell this. I'll take that. I'm probably going to go for this as well. But how does this work? Start of turn, spend one gold, activate the buyability of the nearest friend ahead. So this has to be directly in front of the catfish to work. It currently is, so I'm fine with that. Uh, I am hoping to find some waffles now, though. Because it is a like three gold for a 12-12 buff. It's like spread out over everything, but still nice. That was very sad. Is my run like about to explode? Alright, definitely doing this. Uh I guess I'll leave that because I'm now very afraid for my run. Okay, I think pitterbread on here is like almost necessary. I could do it on here as well. Might, might make more sense. Like, this thing's ability isn't, like, that important, and I'm not getting rid of this at all, so... Sure, throw that there. I would love to level this. Just keep it going. We have potential good scaling. We just need to <laughs> find some waffles. Find some waffles and go against, like, slightly nicer teams. Like this. This is an okay team to go against. No complaints. Dude... Loads of XP. We just keep going for this. I want this thing to be level 3. Like, <laughs> I need both of these. I need the Secretary Bird as well, but... I'm not in a rush for that. These two have synergy, and we're already, like, almost there. Uh, hopefully this isn't going to cause much of a problem. It's, like, very high damage snipes. But it didn't... Oh, wait, it actually does have quite a few triggers. It's still fine. We didn't lose HP, I'll take it. And I think this game actually does, this like team does better the longest, the longer it's alive, so. I'm not buying that. <laughs> We're not doing this. We are buying that. Wish I could get a Blurring Doctopus. Uh, I actually think, I think I'm past the point of needing a tomato. I could get it just because it's better than like most of the food I have, but I'd much rather find uh, Pitta Bread for these eventually. But we still got quite a lot of um, time left, so I think I'm fine buying this this turn, and then next turn I can try and find the final level for that, and maybe go for the secretary bird. If 
find some better equipment for these two. So let's go. Annoy, hello. That's a massive team. It is, but it is also like mid, like mid teens in the turns, and there are some pretty crazy um, money scaling builds around at this time. So like, I'm still not like feeling completely safe, but this is very solid. Like we are basically there. Come on, come on. Oh, all right, just keep rolling, keep rolling. Well, I'm hoping I get this like by the end of the game. Honestly, I don't need it anymore in the sense that like, what, next turn we're getting another 6-6 six, six for free on everything, except for this. So like, we're going to like cap out by the end of the game anyway, probably. But I want it. Am I doing view lobbies? Yes, yeah, it'll be after this game, because... Oh, Waffle. <laughs> I want to buy the Waffle, but like, I don't have enough gold and stuff. I need to find the Catfish level up. Like, I need to get this. And there it is, cool. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't do anything, but like, it's something that I wanted. So let's maybe throw this on here then, because like two trumpets compared to an eight damage snipe. I think that's probably an easy choice. Uh, but I may move this further back. Like I can do something like this. I still need it to be immediately in front of that in case I don't win, but yeah, let's maybe do it like this. Okay. I trust. I trust this team. And yeah, here's a very large squad. I don't like that. I had to trade way too many times into that frontliner. Yeah, we did lose. I refuse to sell the Blue Ring Doctopus just because it's like the smallest thing on my team, by the way. Because like, look, everything else is basically capped out now. Uh, yeah, this doesn't do anything either. Like, finding um, Pitta Bread and Tomato for this is fine. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. This only like taps out these things. Like, it would be amazing normally, but uh, yeah, we're done with those. And this isn't equipment that I want. Give one pet the eggplant perk, push opposite enemy one space forward on start a battle. Like, I could maybe try that. Like, give it to you and then shuffle him somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like having the banana because then I get some, like, six things. But also this is change, so I don't know if it actually works the way I want it to. So, you know what? Let's try. Let's try. Push opposite enemy one space forward. So it definitely should be at the front. I'll maybe put it, like, second back. And see how that goes. Let's see. Ah, uh, that seems pretty good to me. Now that the quit is like at the back. <laughs> yeah, that hurt them quite a lot, I think. Hey, got the catfish, got the blurring doctopus, I think. All right, you gonna show me the other one? There we go. Okay, cool. All right, two decent ones. Good run, good run. 